Welcome back to the kitchen. If you thought we were done inspiring your weekend meals, you're wrong, okay? We're about to take it to another level, Chef Clem. I would imagine this one came to you in a wonderful, glorious dream, like so yeah. many of your oh. recipes, because this is, this is beautiful, it's inspired, it involves the daily difference, which is great. Mm -hmm. So we know you're gonna save a little here and there. Um, I, I'm gonna let you explain, because I'm seeing Part pot sticker, but part steamed bun. What is what is this, man? What is this okay. craziness? So earlier we made the prawn and corn steamed buns. Mm. So we're doing the same, using the same dough and the same filling method to use for the next one, which is going to be this beautiful shredded lamb shank oh. and mushroom pot sticker style buns. And the difference is, you can see this one's got a crispy bottom, mm -hmm. and these have got the beautiful soft soft pillowy okay. bottoms. And the way we're gonna get that soft um, bottom is we're actually gonna fry it first, then steam it. Sounds complicated, but it's so easy. So what I did was I shopped Daily Difference to get the mushies. Okay, Check well them out done. this weekend. And then also easy to cook range on promo right now. And then, just because I'm checking out the little flowers here at the bottom, I mean, to sort your moms out this weekend, go get the uh, flowers, Daily Difference, yeah. Remember, you owe me an orchid still, eh? I do owe you an orchid. You, promise you, give Why me an Why are you telling orchid? South Africa about our stuff? No, I just want you to be just accountable. Don't man. talk about the kitchen. Be, come on, man. It's I'm sorry, business. I did. I revealed. I do owe you an orchid. OK. You do owe me an orchid. So in the pan, some spring onions going in, and those mushrooms that I spoke about they're going in as well. So I like the combination of mushroom and lamb together. I don't know, it's kind of like the earthiness of mushroom mm. and then that like slightly gaminess and fattiness of lamb. The two just complement each other so well. Beautifully, the umami for days. Umami, you know. Love okay, it. so this is a beautiful lamb shank. It's been cooked and done for you. All you have to do is to shred the meat. So I've already kind of started by shredding the meat. I just used two forks. It's amazing how well it's been pre-cooked. Like that oh. always amazes me. It's because there is a bit of nerve. I often come to you for my advice, especially with cooking my, mm. my meats. Like how can I make sure that the lamb shank is perfect, and this you just get it perfect. They, they get and it you just so have beautiful. to warm it through, which is amazing. But it, it stays pink, right? But it's full of the bone. I need to talk to someone. One of the product developers at Willie's. How do you cook your meat like that? They're scientists there. They are. They they, are. They're crazy the way they, they, they do are. things. But that looks beautiful. Cool. And like you say, it's got that beautiful fatty content as well, uh. which is we know that the, the flavor is in the fat. Hundred percent. There's some people that don't like. The Get gaminess out. of lamb. Uh, I'm not friends with them. Just joking, I am, I am, I am. <laughs> but what I told them, what I told them, if you don't like the gaminess of lamb, just take as much of the fat off. Okay. Because not the flavor of lamb is on the fat. From the fat. For yeah. me, I'm all about that flavor. Yeah, so man. I go for it. So again, we're hitting it with a little combo pack, garlic, nice. ginger, chili, that's going in. What I want to do add, previously we used some hoisin sauce. Okay. Right? Now we're gonna use some plum sauce. Ah. The sweetness of the plum, the sweetness of the lamb. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Happiness, man. okay. Yeah, for That's sure. gonna go in. And oh, I'm yum. very generous with this because I like my mixture to be nice and sweet and sticky. So get that in there. Oh, and that stickiness with the bun, kind of the, the combination of those two textures is gonna be insane. So good. See? What you're gonna do now, you're gonna cook that all together. You don't need to cook, just warm it all together. Okay. Everything's cooked the already. lamb is cooked, yeah. And we're gonna steam it again. So what you do now, I'm gonna clear some space. All right, so you can get Flyers. this entire recipe at expressoshow.com. Okay. Um, that's where we have all of our, our inspiration from the kitchen. You can find all of this week's recipes and, and loads more cooking, loads culinary more. inspiration. And it's a good place to start. I love the fact that you just go, you go and have a look at your daily difference and you map out your meals according to that and then you can actually see how much you're saving. Yeah. So what I did earlier was we were quite quick with it, you know? We were like, we were motoring through it. I'm gonna try and do it a little, little slower now. So we take that dough that we made a few Why weeks ago. Why are you doing the remedial version for me? Thanks. You can no, do it, no. You do it a bit slower. I want the viewers just to see exactly slower. how we did it. Okay, so beautiful dough. I made a little dough ball and then I rolled it out. And the trick again, when you're making the dumplings, instead of normally, we roll from the inside out. Okay. That's a normal general thing. When we're making dumplings, we work from the outside in. in. Okay. Because we want a nice little bottom. You want a denser bottom, okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then you take your filling. Everybody likes a dense bottom, and come That's on. That's your preference, bro. Especially with the dumplings, you don't want to have it too thin, because if you pick it up and your bottom's too, too thin, oh, everything's going to fall out the you bottom. You will cry. You will cry if all of this beautiful filling falls out through the bottom of, you your, of your dumpling. So move it around a bit. Okay, so you just didn't know that it's loose. Keep on everything, everything good. Let's turn the heat up on this one. I'm going to knead it now. Do, 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 do. Okay, heat up on that. So we start with the first piece, just pull over your filling okay. with your second hand. Overlap for the first piece that you just put down. Okay. I'm gonna try and do this in reverse. Now I'm an awkward lefty, so sh let me just try. So pull again. Pull in. And every time you do this, you create these folds. Pull and fold. Pull, pull and, fold. and fold. Pull, pull and, fold. and fold. Pull and fold. Pull and fold. It's like a. Yeah. Until 
Everything's encased. And what you do at the end, you just give it a little twist. Alright. Okay, cool. Then I've got some pan. Some, I've got some pan. I've, I've got, got some, some pan. pan. I've got some oil in my pan. <laughs> and we're gonna start off by browning the base. Base, okay. First. So that goes in and it's gonna start sizzling quietly. It's gonna stick to the pan. Pan sticker. Pan's pot sticker. Yeah, exactly. Pot sticker. So you can Is that why you call it a pot, a pot sticker? sticker. What is it? I, I don't, actually don't know, but I just does sit beautifully in the pan. Maybe it's that. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna let that toast up until it goes. It gets to this golden color mm. like that. Okay. Now we don't. This is very careful now, and like you're not adding a lot of water to your pan. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna create add enough water to the pan just to create some steam. Steam. Okay. So. Because you obviously don't want to ruin the beautiful texture of your crispy absolutely. bottom. Absolutely. You don't so want to like. You don't, you're not boiling it. You, it's a steaming process. So right now it's sizzling away. And we see we've got some crust forming it. No, not yet. So what you're gonna do, like I say, when it goes golden brown, take it off slightly. You can lift them up, play around it. You see, they don't, they're not hectic to, to, to manage in the pan. Check it out. Cool. A little bit of water, Graham. Just like a little bit to create some steam. Sat. There we go. Okay. You can hear it. Lid on. Boom. That lid being on there is crucial. You're never gonna steam it without the lid being on there. Cool. So make All you're sure when do you do, soggy your base. When yeah. you make this, oh, absolutely. When you make this, you've got a, a matching lid. Okay. All right. Make sure. So, that's gonna steam for about five minutes, okay? And they come out beautiful and crispy. So you, like, it's all about texture. Food's all about texture. So you got that soft. Especially with this, yeah. Especially with this. Soft, pillowy top, and then you got the crispy bottom. When you get into that, I'm telling you, it's so good. That lamb fat melts. So it almost becomes like soupy inside the dumpling. When you bite it, you get like the, the chewy lamb. Word, man. That, that sauce that comes with it, the lamb fat. But that's what it is. We're gonna make a beautiful sauce, a dipping sauce to go with it. So in here I've got some vinegar, and you can use okay. you can use brown vinegar, rice wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, red wine vinegar, vinegar. Just don't okay. use balsamic vinegar, not necessary. Okay, okay? That, you can't see it, but it's, it's in there. Then to that we're gonna add but some yeah, of the. Go white. You're going Asian. Go with a nice rice wine vinegar. Yeah, Come on, I mean, man. yeah, absolutely. But I mean, if, if, I don't want you to go to the shops especially to find the vinegar. So cool. just stay away from the balsamic. You just don't need that. Hit it with a little bit of that sweet plum sauce. So what I'm going to do is take some of this coriander. I chopped some coriander up earlier. That can go into your filling and it can go for your garnish at the end. Okay. So enough for you, you know, okay. But <laughs> yeah. keep the Don't coriander stems. There's so much flavor in the stems. Add the stems to your sauce and you give it a good mix and mix. Some of that green chili, why not? Yeah, make it nice yeah. and spicy. Yeah, man. And all you got to do is mix this together. So you're creating different flavors. You've got the sweetness of the lamb or the plum sauce, but now you've got this tangy, vinegary dipping the sauce. Tarty, yeah. And all you got to do is serve that together. What I love about these dishes, about the stickers, you get the whole family together. Everyone's around the table. Everybody's one person's filling, one person's yeah, crimping, other like one's it. frying, other one's steaming. So what are you doing this weekend? I'm, I'm pot sticking. I'm pot, pot sticking. sticking. And I'm pot sticking this weekend. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, uh, you guys have created some amazing, some gorgeous looking dumplings, but the flavor combinations are truly glorious. You guys have outdone yourselves this morning. If you want these recipes, um, both of the dumplings that we've made today, you can find them on expressoshow.com. Yeah. This, is, this is one of the best you've done this week. Stop eh? it. Eh? Stop Come on. It. This is you. This is you peak. Eh? You peak. <laughs>